Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. We have just tested the 2023 Ford F-150 Raptor R with a big supercharged V8 under the hood. And so we've got it in the garage. Well, actually next to the garage. It won't fit in the garage. Uh, so that we can do a full underhood tour outlining all of the major technical features as well as the maintenance service points. The 5.2 liter supercharged V8 engine and the 10 speed automatic transmission in the 2023 Ford F-150 Raptor R is based on the same engine found in the Mustang Shelby GT500, but has a number of key differences that make it more suitable for truck duty. First, its power rating is 700 horsepower and 640 pound-feet of torque, which is less horsepower but more torque than the version found in the Mustang. Its unique hardware starts with an inverted 2.65 liter supercharger with a slightly smaller pulley, which delivers 12 psi of boost cooled by an air-to-water intercooler. With Raptor R emblazoned across the top of its intake plenum, this combination helps to boost mid-range torque. Also unique to the dual overhead cam engine are cast stainless steel exhaust manifolds and a deep sump cast aluminum oil pan. There's also a more robust crankshaft with a viscous aluminum damper along with a high capacity oil cooler. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts at the top of the radiator where it flows into a large air intake box with a high flow conical air filter inside. From there it travels through the mass airflow sensor and intake duct into a single bore throttle body. The intake air is then compressed and cooled before traveling up and over into the cylinder heads which feature dual cam timing. Much of its port fuel injection system is hidden from view as are the tops of the spark plug coil packs which reside under plastic covers. From there, the spent exhaust gases exit through the aforementioned stainless steel exhaust manifolds and into a high flow exhaust system. Servicing locations for DIY maintenance are all easily spotted and accessed. The 12 volt battery is located high on the passenger side. Behind it is a fuse box. The oil filler cap is at the front of the passenger side valve cover. Checking the oil is done on the driver side of the engine, notable by the bright yellow dipstick. The oil filter must be accessed from below the truck down at the front of the engine. The brake fluid reservoir is found at the driver side firewall atop an electronically controlled brake pump unit. The air filter is located at the front driver side of the engine bay and does require tools to access. There are two coolant tanks at the front and center. The larger one is for the main engine coolant and the smaller one toward the passenger side is for the air to water intercooler system. Looking around the engine compartment, there are a few notable things to point out. Because this is a body on frame truck, there are a lot of openings around the engine bay that you can see daylight through for water and mud to get in from your adventures. So periodic cleaning out is a good practice if you're having a lot of fun in the mud. The hood features functional air extractor vents, which are ducted to holes underneath that you can see through the sound deadening pad to pull the hot air out. Looking toward the front, you can see that the radiator has two high capacity electric cooling fans. Always keep your hands clear of these, even if the engine is not running. Looking down at the front, it's a little hard to see, but the supercharger belt runs on a second sheave, only servicing itself. The other engine accessories run on a separate serpentine belt. Well, there you go for an underhood tour and outline of what's under the hood of the 5.2 liter supercharged Raptor R. It is a really nice truck, a lot of fun to drive. You can see our full test drive right there on our partner channel, Test Driven TV. You can also subscribe to TDTV Garage right there if you like this kind of nuts and bolts content. Either way, stay tuned.